वेलकम विल स्टार्ट विद द एट्थ मैप लोकेशन क्लास फॉर 2018 एंड वी प्लान टू हैव एटलीस्ट वन मोर बिफोर योर अपकमिंग मेन्स नाउ अगेन द स्टूडेंट्स हु आर एनरोल्ड इन द टेस्ट सीरीज कीप सेंडिंग ऑन योर टेस्ट सो दैट वी कैन प्रोवाइड यू टाइमली इवेल्युएशन एंड फीडबैक्स विच यू कैन इनकॉर्पोरेट बिफोर योर मेन्स नाउ द फर्स्ट लोकेशन दैट वी वुड बी टॉकिंग हियर इज माधवपुर गेड एंड बिस्माक नगर नाउ बिस्माक नगर वॉज इस्टैब्लिश बाय द लॉर्ड बिस्मा mark or the king bismark who was uh, ruling that area and his daughter was rukmini now rukmini moved from here to lord krishna who was located in madhavpur so you have the madhavpur mela that's held in porbandar district in gujarat and this showed a good link with gujarat and the uh, tribe of arunachal pradesh which was the mishmi tribe so mishmi tribe uh, from arunachal pradesh and uh, bismark nagar which lies in the rohing lower dibang valley of arunachal pradesh has close ties with madhavpur mela that was recently held and is important you have indian uh, culinary institute which has two centers one at noida and the other at tirupati which has been established and really important the next is the launch of govardhan scheme which was recently released in the budget this scheme was launched from national dairy research institute in karnal so karnal is again an important location kushinagar was in news because of the railway accident on the unmanned railway crossing and uh, the idea is to basically remove all unmanned railway crossings by 2020 so that's again one of the targets that we are working on uh, the one of the largest or the biggest solar power plant for uttar pradesh has been established at vijaypur is has been given by the lucknow solar energy development corporation and we have one more that's coming up at jalnaw which is around 40 megawatts of energy Uh, Talagunda is really important. This was the region of Kadam dynasty, and Kadam is Kadam dynasty was known for its indigenous use of language. It is believed that uh, they discovered language much prior to what we think as the origin period for language. So this location is and ind indeed very very important. Kamrup was in news recently because the airports authority of India signed a memorandum of understanding with Assam government to develop this region of Kamrup. The next is the national waterways. You have Barak stretch that was developed for national waterway one. In the region of Goa, you have three waterways: twenty-seven, sixty-eight, and hundred and eleven. You have waterway nine in Kerala. So you have Alappuzham, Kottayam, and Athirapuzha, which are part of it. In West Bengal, you have two. So Sundarbans is ninety-seven waterway, and Rupnarayan is eighty-six. Then you have Gandak flowing through the regions of uh, UP and. Uh, um, Bihar. So you have the Gandak, uh, the the national waterway that's 37, which passes on the Gandak River. The next location that we are talking about it is Hisar. You have the Sach Gaurav. Sach Gaurav is India's first cloned. Uh, buffalo that has been cloned at the inter, uh, at the center Central Institute for Buffaloes in Hisar. So Hisar was in news, and the clone that was being done was for an Assamese buffalo. So those are the important things for this point. The next are the six locations for the digital village. So you have Piala and Dayalpur and Haryana. You have Dhona uh, Dhonari Kal uh, Kalan and Sultanpur in. Uh, Uttar Pradesh. You have Shiva Bandhu and Chandan Kiyari in Jharkhand. So these are the important villages which were, which are now considered as digital villages. Nangal Chaudhary is a integrated multimodal logistics freight village that has been proposed. So it's again an important location. Then you have Anantpur. Anantpur was recently in news because you have India's first hybrid uh, solar wind power project that's coming up in Anantpur in Andhra Pradesh. Uh, then you have the strategic petroleum reserves discovered at Mangalore. So Padur Mangalore is important. And then you have Vishakhapatnam and Rajkot where you have Sada. Uh, certain proposed plants that are there uh, plastic park has been established at devgarh in jharkhand so devgarh in jharkhand is important you have the third uh, the third unit and the last unit of the krishna ganga hep power project that was commissioned and uh, 
uh, you have two important power projects that we are talking about here krishna ganga project on krishna ganga river and pakaldul uh, project on marusudar river so those are the two important projects in jammu kashmir uh, the hep projects you have jhajar and chakri dadri so jhajar and chakri dadri was uh, recently in news because you have an um, uh, memorandum of understanding between artificial limbs and aravli power company for uh, distribution of assistive aid to persons with disability in this region the next was under the uh, armed forces special power act you have the special powers that were given to the regions of changlang tirap and longding in arunachal pradesh so these three locations in arunachal pradesh become important we have six sites which have been part of the unesco world heritage site now these are the namdapa national park you have the thebang which is being declared as a fortified village in arunachal pradesh similarly you have sola kachri which is known for its sari weaving you have the apatani cultural landscape in arunachal pradesh you have the majuli island in assam and last but not the least you have the uh, the modam that were the burial sites for a home dynasty the next is bijapur bijapur was recently in news because you have the vandhan scheme uh, which was started from launched from bijapur in chatisgarh so this is not the bijapur from karnataka this is a bijapur in chatisgarh and the launch of the one vandan scheme was held here the last was the uh, gokul gram scheme you have maranga now where is maranga located in purnia bihar so that's again important the location is important and this is known uh, as a region that has been established under the gokul gram and you have the frozen semen uh, station that has been established here so with this we cover the 20 important map locations for today we'll be covering uh, at least one or two more more map locations before your upcoming mains and then we'll start for 2019 map series for your next examination stay tuned and we do have the program for 2019 aspiring uh, students uh, that's for the online program so you can le uh, let us know and you can contact on the doorstep tutor page itself thanks a lot